This is your home. Planet Earth. A living spaceship flying through the cosmos at 1,000 miles per hour. No matter what type of human you are, you are indigenous to Earth. Earth is foundational to all life and unifies us. So magnificently present and abundant in our experience that we often take it for granted. During this global quarantine, our sense of separation from nature is more pronounced than ever. And yet, while humanity cocoons itself indoors, nature flourishes, breathing a sigh of relief from humanity's persistent extraction. The engine of modern civilization has nearly turned off. And while it's off, we have a moment to consider do we really want this machine to keep barreling forward in the same way? Before we turn it back on, what would we change? How would we course correct? What do we know now that we got wrong when we built all of these systems? And how can we make small shifts to bring it all back into harmony with nature? What if we decided that proliferating billions of single-use items was simply not an option? What if we considered the full lifespan of everything we created and the impact it will have on our planet for seven generations? What if we decided to live in the awareness that we are nourished and supported in every moment by the fruits of our Earth? We must remember that the water that fills our bodies was birthed by the Earth. The air we breathe was first exhaled generously from our friends in the plant kingdom. Our food begins with this and results in this. This is the magic of our beautiful and majestic planet Earth. In our heart of hearts, we know that we have betrayed her in many ways. But now is an opportunity to make a fundamental shift. On April 22nd, we celebrate the 50th anniversary of Earth Day. Earth Day began in 1970 after a major ecological disaster sparked outrage, giving rise to a movement of nearly 20 million people in the United States demanding greater environmental protection. Since then, Earth Day has grown into the largest secular holiday on the planet, with over 1 billion people celebrating it annually in over 190 countries around the world. While the engine's off, this is our moment to step into a new paradigm for humanity. A moment where we recognize our symbiotic nature with our living home, this living being. No matter what your situation is or where you are, we invite you to find a way to connect with nature and give thanks. Join us for a global synchronized moment of meditation at 7 p.m. Pacific time on April 22nd at facebook.com slash unified. The earth can thrive without us, but we cannot survive without her. Visit earthx.org and facebook.com slash unify on April 22nd to join the celebration.